is our environment, is the financing, mm. is the skills. Mm. A lot of our young people don't have the skills. True. I, I, I started to ask, initially I used to refuse, you know, because I'm here in Zimbabwe, to say, no, 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 we still have skills. But I started to notice it even at a personal level. When I say I need an electrician to come and sort out something at my house, I mean, it's a nightmare, you know. So you've got the technical skills, but you also have the business skills. Mm. It's not many people who are fortunate to have grown up in business mm. like I was. Mm. So we need to ensure that we expose our young people. So to our the skills business. have been eroded. Is They've that what you're eroded, saying? Eroded, yeah. Because people are leaving the country. I mean, the, the thing the we're country. facing now is that mm -hmm. everybody's training to be a nursing assistant so that they mm -hmm. get, they go to the UK. Absolutely. I mean, isn't that shocking? It is sad. It is sad. But on not only that they've left. If you even look at our curricula, mm. if you look at our curricula, it's not in general engendering business. You know, we've talked. I mean, the Zira Masanga Commission. It talked about entrepreneurship. Mm. as, as, as uh, um, mm. a huge component that should be in our education system. We're still waiting to see that. And some of us have got great ideas of how you can put that in. Because we've traveled, we've seen how these other countries are doing it. <laughs>